Good afternoon, everybody. A couple things. Uh, finally got my trick flow heads back from porting. And a couple things I wanted to show was, for one, first, uh, the gasket alignment with the 1262S3s is pretty darn near spot on. Um, but also a couple upgrades I'm, I'm doing before I mount these suckers in was I'm upgrading from the 3 8 inch studs that were stock on the heads. These are obviously you can see they're much narrower than the than the 7 16ths. And I'm going to the 7 16 studs. Um, I mean, 40 bucks, you'd be foolish not to go ahead and do the upgrade. Um, obviously, there's a lot more meat there. Your valve train should not uh, flex as much. And then I also opted to get the Lunati springs that Ed spec'd out for the custom cam in here. And I wanted to show the difference here. These are these are a dual spring, but I opted for the titaniums, uh, not titanium, excuse me, tool steel retainers and locks. And I weighed them inside on a little food scale versus the trick flow. These guys were like 166 grams, where the Lenatis were um, 112. As you can see, it's a narrower spring um, versus that, so you'll have even more uh, clearance on the back side of your rocker arms. But um, I also did uh, gasket alignment on the exhaust side. So I got these over here. Uh, let's see. This is the, uh, the Felpro uh, 1415. And like the intake, this one lines up. <clears throat> I mean, just about, sorry, I wasn't prepared for that part, but if you check here, yeah, just about perfectly. Fell Pro 1415 is the gasket. So that's, that should work out good there. Um, a couple little things I'm working on. Um, I did these, uh, this head, not, excuse me, not the head, sorry, this block Looks like it was decked a little bit because my pistons seem to come up out of the hole a little bit, which will help compression. But at the same time, uh, these these 1262 S3s are 65 uh, thousandths thick. And when you put the intake on there, you know, the heads are actually down a little lower. So there's a tendency to have a little, just a tiny little ridge showing on the top here. So if you need... Um, I found on Summit um, a company called Flat Out Gaskets that has a lot of different uh, thicknesses. The 1262 S3 is a 65. The regular 1262 is um, 60, so those are a little thinner. But I'm waiting for, um, I'm going to try a set of Flat Out Gaskets. They have one that's um, 30 thou six thickness. So hopefully with the thinner gaskets, that'll allow the manifold to sit down a little lower. And um, I won't have it... Uh, have any of that um, showing at the top there on the port alignment. So I'm just waiting for those to come in, bolt all these down. But again, um, for tonight, I'll be switching these springs over to this side. Uh, yeah, these uh, Lenatis. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. Oh, I finally did finish up that uh, wire loom. So I'm going to tape that up into place and got that little bracket painted like I said I was going to do. And then just kind of fitting out... Uh, Fitting out this uh, Holly intake I'm going with. And uh, this, I yeah, got this little Summit spring compressor. This thing works great, man. Only thing I had to do on the trick flow heads because the angles are a little different. I did bend, I did bend the forks down a little bit to straighten them out. But man, it sure does make uh, changing out these springs a lot easier. Anyway, got to get back to work. Uh, there's the update. Oh, if anybody's going to get tips of uh, cleaning off, um, cleaning these aluminum heads without etching them or anything, um, I'd appreciate it. Just put it in the comments. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. And that's the update. Got the heads back. So, wanted to post that up. Thanks.